let's check and reduce the video size on your iPhone. Now, if you have your iPhone and you have a really large or long video and you wanted to make it smaller, basically compress the amount of megabytes that it's taking up, I'll walk you through the entire process. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now on here, let's just open up the Photos app and navigate to a video. You'll be able to see what the current size is for this movie just by tapping on your finger and swiping up on the video. Now you'll be able to see right next to the resolution, it says 10 MB, indicating that this specific video takes up 10 megabytes on my phone. Keep in mind, if you're texting this or emailing it or anything like that, you need to basically be within the size limits, otherwise you'll run into some issues. So on here, one of the nice things is your iPhone has the ability to change the size depending on how you're sharing it. So I can tap on the share button at the bottom left and I can choose to text it. And if it is too large to text the video within itself, what it will do is it will create an iCloud link. It will just basically upload that video to your iCloud and then have a custom unique link that will take that user directly to that video. You can also choose to just manually hit copy iCloud link and then it will upload that video to your iCloud again. And then you can also choose to hit on mail here. Say if I tap mail, it will bring in this video, but it will customize this video to make sure that it is small enough to send out as an email. Now I can always go back here and share it however else I want. Now, keep in mind if none of those works and you just want to reduce the file size, the best way to do it is just to go to Google and type in reduce video size. And there are a bunch of free options here. You can see free convert here. I can go in there and basically just upload that video. You can see it has a max file size of one gigabyte. Just upload the video and it will compress it to a smaller size. And then you can just download it back onto your phone and do whatever you want to with it from there. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks, guys.